listen, brand new video. I'm gonna be showing the full process of me drawing the side view, profile view for one of my characters. So you, you can see right in front of you, I got to crack up in my sketchbook. Now the other day, I sat down and I started drawing this new original character. You can see him right here. This is the dude that I'm gonna be drawing the side view of. He said he's supposed to be like a super villain. He got the evil smirk, you know, he probably killed a couple of people. That's what I was going for. He's, he's like a villain type. I meant to put his name to here, like a little name tag going on. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to draw the side view for him, show the full process and everything. So listen, we got we got to hop right into it. We got to get started with it. Listen, it's been, it's been a minute since I made a video like this, a full process video explaining everything. So you're you gonna have to bear with me. But anyway, for the side view, you know, I get started with an oval just really lightly, sketch out an oval for the head shape. Now this original character that I'm drawing now, I, you know, I exaggerated some of his facial features like his head, you know, I made, I made his head like really long. <laughs> yeah, you got a long face. So this line I'm drawing in front for the front of his face, it's exaggerated a little bit. I exaggerated it, so his head isn't gonna be drawn to scale. You can see right now, I'm just connecting the jawline. Gotta connect that for my guy real quick. But you can see we got that first part all together. So now I'm gonna draw like a slightly curved line for the back of the neck and at the front of the neck too, just a little line right there. You know, we got that together. So I'm gonna clean things up a little bit right around here. I'm gonna pull out my eraser, just erase some of these guidelines from the um, initial oval that I drew in the beginning get that out the way make it look a little bit more neat now i'm gonna just go in and add some um place markers for his eyes his nose and mouth just just simple as that just let me know where i'm about to place them and everything make it a little bit easier now i'm gonna come in and start adding more feature more details to his face curve line for the forehead and then i'm gonna come in and draw like a little bit of indentation by his eye indentation i'm using i'm using big words in this video but yeah i'm gonna draw his nose real quick draw his nose add some details of that I, listen i have a lot of trouble drawing mouths still you know like i said i can't stress it enough like some of the books that helped me a lot were the christopher hart books i'll probably put them in the corner but yeah they helped me a lot with drawing faces drawing bodies proportions and everything like that so make sure you check those out like i said i'm not like a super super professional or anything this is just how i draw my characters this is this is what this process is about but yeah you can see we got that all together we got that ready at this point though you know i'm just gonna go in and add the small details add in the details for the face you can see i'm working on the nose right now i'm gonna work my way down to the mouth to add in the details there my the pencil that i'm using the lead pencil i'm using is 0.3 lead i like it because i can just go in it's easy for me to add in the small details like this now go in and add in the small details, get everything together. That's that's why I use it. But anyway, the eye at this like view, it's it's basically just an arrow pointed to the right. And then fill it in, get that together real quick. I'm adding a couple a little bit more details on the face, then I'm gonna work my way to the eyebrow, draw that in. I'm gonna have the eyebrow pointed like slightly downward because now you gotta look a little bit mean, look a little bit mad. Like I see, he is a super villain, so that's what we were going for. Listen, man, I'm working my way to the ear. Man, don't, don't, don't come on this channel looking for like how to draw ears or something. That you can find out on another channel. I got too much trouble. I have too much trouble drawing ears. They're still like, I don't know, they're just weird. It's hard for me to draw them. They're like in the same category as hands for me. Like they're they're up there they're up there but this is how i draw them for my characters i do them from like video to video you just see it basically like right here like i said next part very important always say the hairline you can't push that back you know you can't you, you can't push that back too far like unless it like the reference picture or something you're using has it like that but um, if you want to do the hair, you can add it all around here, go crazy. I'm going to just give this guy like short haircut, like a bald fade type of cut. So I'm not going to add too much. This for me is just like stylistic. I like adding like sharp lines, like instead of like a circular rounded head top. I just add in the sharp lines. I don't, I don't know. I just kind of like the way it looks. But I'm pretty much finishing up on the face. Just adding like a last few, like the very last few little details. Anyway. 
man you can see we got it all together right here we got it all together the sketch is all done you can see a side view face next to the um, front face i don't know why i drew it like that he looks like in disgust in my other page <laughs> the left page but yeah i'm gonna start the inking right now for me personally i like really bold outlines on the outside of my characters for the outer layer i like drawing them super bold so that's what i'm gonna do Now to outline the details in the inside of the face, I'm going to use a more fine point, like multi-liner to go over those lines. So let me finish that up real quick. You can see my guy though, we got him, we got him looking crispy right now. I'm not going to lie, he's looking good right now. So now I got to move on. We got to color him up. These are the um, markers I'm mainly gonna be using for his skin. So for my guy right here, I'm gonna color him in using the alcohol brush markers. That's what I use for virtually like all my videos. The specific markers that I'm using are Copic, but like there's all different types of brands that work well for, especially when it comes to alcohol brush markers, there's a lot of other brands that have really good markers you could use. So when it comes to this, I'm just gonna lay down the base, the foundation, which is like the lightest marker. And then I'm going to go over this base with darker markers for the areas that don't have as much light. So you're going to see me start to work that like right here. I'm going to lay down a darker, um, darker marker right around here where there's not as much light. It helps a lot to have like a reference picture. You can find a lot of them on like sites like Pixabay, um, Unsplash.com. I just recently found that out from like watching other art YouTubers. That's another site you could use. But yeah, I'm gonna start coloring in here. I'm gonna use like the neutral grays to do that. But yeah, like the reference pictures, I virtually use like a reference picture for mainly like all my drawings. A lot of them sometimes I'll just like take a picture of myself, like side view, whatever, whatever like facial like view I'm drawing just to help out. Just so I'm not like drawing, my drawing's not like crazy off. Man, I'm basically adding in like the last little details here, coloring the eyes, the eyebrow. I'm gonna go in with like a little black pencil, adding some little dots for here. This will make it look a little bit more realistic. And then we pretty much, you know, we got this guy, dude, he, he's looking all right. I'm coloring the shirt too, that's what we gotta do, but he's pretty much almost finished. Listen, man, here's what my guy looks like all complete finished version went through the full process and got him done But anyway, I hope you guys like this video I can do more like this if you guys enjoy it, if you want to see more of it, but um Maybe I might drop another video this week. So please subscribe if you haven't already and I'm out